Welcome to today's show. Today is our first show outside this summer, so we hope we can have a few more. Today's question comes from Elizabeth. Can I wear my pajama pants uptown? So I'll repeat that. Can I wear my pajama pants uptown? So that's assuming Elizabeth thinks that pajamas are pants. So I've done some research here. I got Nancy, my co co-worker and researcher, to Google it. And this is the answer it said on Google. Of course, there are many other answers. This is just the one I picked. If you have to ask, you probably already know the answer. So that's the answer I chose from Google. I use my own search engine. It's uh, way more accurate. It, it's more uh, trustworthy. It's just better information. I know that because I input all the information myself and I don't like to cloud these articles with truth or facts. So I found this flow chart. We'll go through to answer our question. All right, here's the flow chart. I apologize for the sun glaring off my bald head, but uh, it's at a bad angle now. The sun, not in my head. All right, here's the flow chart I found on my website. So, here's the question. Are Kit Kats cats? No. All right. Are hot dogs dogs? Let's see the answer to that. No. Is the moon made out of cheese? No. Then you take the common theme of this, all these questions, and add them together and divide by four, and you still get no. So no, pajamas are not pants. No, short pants are not okay. You can use this question for everything. No, you, if you're from Winkler, you cannot date my daughter. It just will save you heartache, misery, and a call. All right, so I'll explain to you something else. If this is not enough to convince you that pajamas aren't pants, you can do this. If Elizabeth, here, let's step out of the light. If Elizabeth thinks she can wear, go uptown with what she wears to bed, then Frank, one of my coworkers, says he would get arrested uptown if he's wearing what he wore to bed. And I just, I'm like Marilyn Monroe, I just wear a couple of drops of Chanel number no. nine. So you don't want to see me uptown with a couple of drops of invisible solution that has evaporated. So that visual alone should answer your question. Nope, what you wear to bed should not be worn uptown. So I thank Elizabeth for asking these questions and thanks you guys for watching. Later.